joined by Chloe, who is a third year cabinet maker apprentice for Austal Ships. Thank you so much for joining us today. No worries. So did I get that right? Can you tell us a bit about where you work and what you actually do? So I work here at Austal Ships. I'm a third year cabinet making apprentice and I work as part of the fit out department. So that means I um, am involved in turning uh, open deck space into living and accommodation spaces. Wow, that is really cool. I did not know that a job like that existed. That's really awesome. Yeah, it, it's very, very awesome. It's um, uh, very varied work. So we do everything from floor to ceiling and everything in between. Cool. So what do you love most about your job? Um, I think the variety of work is, is definitely one of the pluses. Um, every single day I come into work and I'm not 100% sure about what I'll be doing that day. So um, I like that you kind of get to try your hand at a lot of different things. Um, also probably the job satisfaction you get from building something with your own two hands. <laughs> That's definitely um, also a, a very big thing. Yeah, absolutely. And what would you say is the most challenging part of it? Um, I think obviously being an apprentice, um, we're learning a lot. So that can be quite challenging um, every single day, trying to learn new skills and perfect techniques. Um, but I guess in, in a lot of ways, that's also one of the good things about the job is that we're definitely always learning every single day. Yeah, absolutely. So what's your background then? Did you know that this is sort of the path that you wanted to take, um, you know, an apprenticeship in, in a trade? What sort of, what subjects did you study at high school and um, what were you sort of studying during your apprenticeship? So um, when I was at high school, I wasn't really 100% sure what I wanted to do. Um, obviously, there's so many options out there. Um, I, I didn't really have a, a subject as such that I was particularly, um, uh, you know, uh, amazing at. Um, I was just perfectly average at everything. I had quite a lot of interests. So I, I found that after I finished and graduated um, year 12, I had done enough that I could get into uni. Um, I tried that for 12 months and found that it wasn't for me. <laughs> um, and so I thought I'd try something different, which is what this is. <laughs> Absolutely. And then so why um, naval shipbuilding industry? What, what stood out to you about that? Um, I think it, it, there's a couple of different things really. Um, probably the main one is that you, we're building something for the country. So um, there's the building side of things, but also you, you do get, kind of get a lot of pride in building something you know is going to be very useful in the future. Yeah, definitely. And then so when you decided, okay, I'm going to take up a trade um, in cabinet making, had you had any other experience prior or did you do any other internships or did you just jump straight into this sort of avenue? Um, it, you could say it's, it's in my family, um, cabinet making as a trade. Um, so my dad and my brother and my grandfather as well, they were all cabinet makers. So in a lot of ways, it didn't seem so um, unfamiliar to me um, to actually get a cert for in cabinet making. Uh, but I did find that uh, what I do here at Austell is very different because it's so specialised as opposed to just normal residential. Yeah, work. totally. <laughs> Cool. And so what stood out about Austell to you? Why is Austell such a great place to work? Um, Austell is amazing in the fact that it's a larger company, but it's definitely expanding still. So there's kind of, um, you get the support from having um, good teams, good leadership here um, because they are a large company. But then because they're also still growing, there's... Um, uh, upcoming opportunities that we get to look forward to as well. So new positions are always opening up. There's quite a lot of different departments to go into as well. So um, even with just a single trade, there's so many different avenues that you can get into. Yeah, which is super handy, isn't it? Knowing that, you know, you can go whichever way you want within an organisation once you sort of get in there. So For sure, for sure. Yeah. So when you were applying, what do you think made yourself stand out? What what qualities do you think Austal were looking for that you had in particular? Um, well, I'm not 100% sure. I am definitely keen um, 
to learn. I, I think that's probably a big thing that they do look for. People who are willing to engage, um, ask questions. Um, they're not expecting people to know a lot. Obviously, um, during the work experience um, part when before I started here, um, I didn't know anything. <laughs> Even having a background, um, I had no practical skills whatsoever. Um, and they didn't expect me to have that. Um, but just, I think, in asking questions, um, thinking outside the box, trying to predict, you know, um, uh, different processes that was going to have to take place um, to get things done. Um, I think that probably helped, um, as well as obviously being friendly. Um, we do work in, um, you know, uh, everyone works in a team here, so you need to be able to get along well with people. So good communication skills are also uh, a big one. Yeah, absolutely. So is there anyone who has really inspired you in your role or just generally in your life? Um, probably I would have to say my family. Um, obviously ha having a background in cabinet making already, um, they do kind of, it's one of those things to have good practical skills has always been um, something that is, is quite high on the priority list. Um, so to, to actually have those skills, to be able to talk to um, other, other trades about them, um, to feel useful, I guess you could say, um, because the skills that I learn here at Austell, um, I can kind of apply to a lot of different areas in my life as well, even around my own house. Um, and yeah, even just in my personal life. Yeah, absolutely. So what advice would you give to your former high school self? If you were looking back, what would you say? <laughs> There's a lot of things I would probably say to my past self, um, especially coming out of high school. Um, one of the big things I would probably say to her would have been just try things. Um, sometimes we're so scared to try new things or things that are, you know, a little bit out of out of the box um, that we kind of we limit ourselves to what we think we can do. Um, and I really wish that when I come straight out of high school, I just would have tried everything, you know, because I mean, any experience is good experience. Um, I think, you know, now, um, and it's just it's really good to be well rounded. Yeah, no, that's definitely good advice. <laughs> <laughs> So is there anything else that you would like to tell those students who are out there watching? What do you think that they need to know about uh, an apprenticeship at Austell? Um, I would say give it a shot. <laughs> um, try something new. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's so many pre-apps as well you can do to see if you enjoy something. Um, and it, it doesn't have to be forever as well. I mean, there's so many people who have dual trades um, and that makes you extra you know, useful and helpful. Um, so yeah, definitely just, just try things, um, try new things, because um, you never know what you, you're gonna enjoy. I mean, I never thought that I would be a cabinet maker. I always said when I was young, oh no, no, I'm not gonna do that. It's much better things to do. Um, but I'm really enjoying myself here. Um, and yeah, it's it's been really surprising. And what about being a young female um, as an apprentice cabinet maker at Austell? How do you, are you the only one? Uh, you know, how is it <laughs> being a girl doing a, a trade? Um, it's it's not so different, to be honest. I mean, it still is a bit of a, a, a thing, like we're trying to encourage more females in the industry. Um, and there's, there's a few that I do work with um, over um, all the trades that work on the boats with me. Um, we have there's three of us females in the fit out department but there's quite a few in in electrical and fabrication as well um i it's not really an issue and why would you urge more young female students who are out there at high school right now to maybe consider a trade and not go down the traditional sort of university path um i think it's more um don't be afraid don't think that just because it's male dominated um you can't do it um, a lot of people say, oh no, I'm not physically strong enough, but it, it doesn't actually come down to that. Um, with a lot of things, it's, it's having an eye for detail, um, being able to work with your hands, developing those skills, um, using the tools, um, which is something that we are all capable of. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Chloe. It was really great to hear about your apprenticeship at Austell and I hope that we can inspire more young students out there to consider that after high school for themselves. Thank you. No worries.